Um, <clears throat> Edward Orser is also a mentor uh, for our next presenter, along with yours truly, Alexandra Highland, whose presentation, um, she's in the Department of American Studies as well, uh, and her presentation is entitled, The Baltimore Girl, An Experiment in Sustainable Living. Hi, um, I'm Alex. I'm the Baltimore Girl. Um, <laughs> and okay. I love Baltimore. I really do. Does anyone else like love Baltimore? Yeah, I love Baltimore. Um, I love Baltimore because I don't need a vegetable oil powered car to get around to be sustainable. Like I can take the bus or I could bike or I could walk. Um, in Baltimore, you don't need a fancy organic sandwich to be more conscious. You can make sandwich out of local produce. Um, you know, it's Earth Day in Baltimore, and I can go celebrate with a local bottle of Natty Bow. Um, and so, but why is it, last, last September, like why did I, you know, swear off tropical produce and hand over my car keys and torture my roommates with smelly piles of rotting, decomposing vegetables, compost? Um, so why? Um, I discovered that Baltimore was ranked the 10th most sustainable city in the nation. And I wanted to put that to the test. Like that just, that shocked me. Um, I want to know like how reasonable, how affordable is it for individuals to live sustainably in this old Rust Belt city? Like it's Baltimore. Um, my research was a living experiment where I adopted a more sustainable lifestyle that is centered around the categories of sustainability that, is, that were identified by sustainlane.com, um, who made the claim about Baltimore. Um, I discussed the progress throughout the experiment on the webpage. And um, here you can find more embarrassing pictures of me, um, stories of all the, the adventures I've had, um, upcoming local environmental events, uh, and what you can do to live more sustainably. Um, if you have interest in a particular aspect of sustainable living, you can go to the blog, and I divide it up into the 16 categories on the side. So if you had an interest in, for example, local food and agriculture, you can go to that section and find out, you know, where can I find farmer's markets? Where can I go and like pick my own produce? Um, so you can see them all along the right-hand side. And that's what Baltimore was judged on. That's what I based all of my research around, was taking apart these aspects of sustainability and seeing how Baltimore measures up. Um, I'm in love with this project. Uh, I've, <laughs> I've met like the most amazing people who are living ridiculous lifestyles um, I've, you know, tasted amazing, like, local food. I've, um, heard talented artists perform. I, you know, I, I'll run in Patapsco, I'll bike around Druid Hill Reservoir. Um, just trying to discover what Baltimore is all about. Um, you know, people just kept surprising me all year. Um, it was just amazing. Like, you know, if I had, like, the energy to go and do this, like, it just, it's contagious, and it, it was awesome. Like, I saw my roommates, like, pulling orange peels out of the garbage to add to our compost bin. My germaphobic roommate was pulling <laughs> orange peels out of the garbage bin. It was amazing. And, um, uh, you know, my parents brought, like, uh, reusable containers to drink their coffee in the morning. Um, market day was like a weekly holiday with my roommates and I. Like, we would trek there and, you know, go to the farmer's market. And that was... That was an amazing ritual. Um, yeah, I carpooled with a stranger to Florida and because I didn't want to drive myself. But then we ended up at Skydiver Camp and it was a week and that was random. But it's just that like, connecting like, with other people, that's, uh, that's what sustainability is all about. Like, you know, housing affordability is important, but it's more like just that community is more important. Um, and that's what's like really sustainable. Um, just getting together with other like Baltimoreans and just seeing like how they live and work and just interacting with them is what's really important. Um, but you know, so what does this mean 
for you guys. You know, uh, you know, I've been doing this, but like the important thing is that you can do it too. And it's just changing like simple things. Um, you know, it takes like creativity sometimes to like live a lifestyle like this and courage and sense of humor, mm -hmm. but um, it's possible. So just, I don't think that the creators of the study were so crazy anymore. Like I think, I think Baltimore is, is a pretty sustainable city. I'll start at the home page and, okay. All right, from here, um, see just like about, and then every week going with the 16 category, 16 themes is a different challenge for you. And then there's video to kind of, you know, give a more uh, visual effect. There's like a book if you're interested in learning more. There's a website for exploring more. Um, are these themes that you came up with, or were they related? No, these to? are the ones of like the people who did the study. Mm -hmm. They um, they base it off of those categories. Sixteen criteria. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, so, and all of the um, past weeks are all uh, archived under folks, websites, challenges, and videos. So. You mentioned that community was the most important. Yes. Is that something that runs through the 16 categories? Um, or that yes. you could that you could connect to those categories? I mean, it just, it just kept being more and more apparent. Um, like, just seeing what people are doing, just supporting other people. Um, it's just seeing what people are capable of, like the people who work at Living Classrooms or the woman who developed like the Baltimore Green Map, like, just those are the things that like bring people together and you know it's not so much like you know oh I brought my uh, reusable bag to the grocery store so like that makes me sustainable but like hey that guy brought it too so you know let's be friends like that's like that's what's like more <laughs> important um, but that is a thing that I saw like uh, you know like, it's just people just seem really like content and I don't know it's like living like that kind of lifestyle but. Seriously, this people, it is amazing, it's so nice. And the people like really just care about what they were doing, like the farmers and just supporting the local economy is, like that is critical. Um, going to like the local restaurants, going the the local growers, um, that's what really matters, like the local businesses. Because like that money will stay in Baltimore. Like, you know, if you go to, you know, a chain, you know, you don't know where like the money's going. One of the things I've found is sort of an interesting contradiction with both the sustainability movement and using the internet and the access of the internet is that contradiction that you just mentioned of using local vendors versus buying something from Amazon. In mm -hmm. some ways, you know, it's a really conscious effort yeah. not to do something that's easier. See, that's the thing too, and um, that's been my biggest, I guess, like struggle has just been um, trying to figure out like the perfect way of being sustainable. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I can go and get a book used off of Amazon, oh. which is, which is sustainable, but then it's getting shipped from California, mm -hmm. which isn't sustainable. So, and doesn't like, support your local bookstore. And doesn't support your local bookstore. Like, um, you know, I need a book for class, so I'll go to the book exchange, mm -hmm. which is a local bookstore, but I'm buying a book new, so <laughs> that's, right. so that's like, yeah. You know, I don't know how to handle contradictions like that. Like, I actually, I just wrote about that a couple days ago because I found an article that a guy wrote saying that bicycle riding is actually um, worse for the environment than driving because you're going to be living longer and therefore, <laughs> and therefore um, it's being more, um, doing more harm to the environment. So I was just like, uh, I give up. I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> what if you ride a bike without a helmet? There you go. There you go. I think you, yeah. Maybe even, but yeah. Well, baltimoregirl.com. Yes, yeah. that yeah, thing is yeah, I was just going to say, why don't you mention the website so people yeah. will um, it. Yeah, the baltimoregirl.com. Um, places for comments. Um, uh, just send me a message if you don't want to be public. Uh, I think, yeah, this is just, it's been like a big part of my life now, so I think it might continue for a little bit longer than I thought. 